Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today I want to look at a couple of different interior finish details, specifically wall tile, crown, and baseboard. So let's take a look. As you can see in this section, I've got baseboard down here, I've got some crown molding up here, and then over in this bathroom and back there in the kitchen, I have some wall tile. The crown and the base are both complex profile beams, whereas the wall tile is a thin wall. So let's look at each of these in turn. Right, let's go over to a new project and I'm gonna quickly just draw some walls. Now, you don't know skip that. Here on the plan, we can see that I've got my crown right here. And then below that, it's a little harder to see you've got the baseboard. Really simply, simple to add crown. We're just going to, well, we're using my template. We're going to type in cove. And we're going to start with that. Otherwise, you, you just have to pick the right complex profile, the right whatever. But I'm going to train everyone to just use favorites. And then we're just going to trace around a room. And that's it. There's your cove. If we look at this in 3D, we'll notice that the crown is too low. That's easy to fix. We're just going to select this. I have auto grouping turned on. I know some people don't like it, but I actually really love it for these instances where you're making a chain of things like baseboard or crown. So I take that and then I'm just going to move that up in the ceiling and now we're good to go. And before we do the next room, I will just eyedropper that crown. And now when we do this room, I don't know why our kids being really slow right now. We look at that room. That one's already got the crown in the right spot because we set the crown in the first room and now I dropped it and worked it there. So one thing to note when doing crown like this is you saw that I, the geometry method I used was the box. Depending on which way you make the box or the which way you draw a beam, sometimes the, you see the crown is on the, the right side. So there's direction with beams. So sometimes you have to just start going in a certain direction so that you get the things right. So now, Baseboard works the same way. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and eyedrop with this so we can cut to the chase here. You just trace the room. Now, instead of just doing the big box, what I find works best is you trace the room and then add the baseboard where the door is. So I'm clicking to the edge of that trim piece. And once that's done, you can just select, let's ungroup, select that and delete it. And so now we've done the baseboard. That becomes really helpful when you're, you're working through a room with a lot of doors, say, you know, this hallway, you just go through, create all the, you know, you do that, then you do that, then you do that, then you do that, and that, and that, and then you just delete these afterwards. That's much faster than zooming in, doing that, and then doing that, and then doing that. So that will just speed it up. So that's baseboard. The last thing I want to talk about is wall tile. And that is the same situation, but you're using a thin wall. So I don't think I'm going to bother drawing it. We all know how to draw walls. But you can see there's just a very well-finished tile. It's all of a half an inch thick. You just trace that around. I'll put empty openings or niches in it to get that. And then as I've talked about in other videos, you can use create opening from selection if you have a a window that penetrates that wall tile. So for instance here, instead of doing a little segment of wall there, if I turn on openings, you can see I have created an opening in that wall tile with this window. I just can't seem to select it right now for whatever annoying reasons. But there is that, that wall tile there. For something like a range, I will do a separate wall to make that taller. I just find that that's easier. The last thing I want to talk about with this is baseboards at stairs. So I find the tile finish for walls or using the wall tool for tile finish is great, but baseboards, I like using the beam tool because the beam tool can angle. So, you know, here's a beam and I've just, you know, brought that down. I've angled it or the skirt at the stair. I'm doing some little things with segmented beams here, which I won't go into to just get that joint cleaned up. But if you do this joint and it's not clean, just add a, oh, why don't I show this actually? What I've done here is there is a, a small segment of this beam at the end, which I have um, changed the height on so that maybe I've also done, I think I changed the height and then I changed the, the joining angle just to get that joined. I don't have any um, 
magic solution there, but when you just have two beams coming together, you'll, you won't always get that perfect joint at the top and the bottom. And so, of course, it's doing perfectly for me now, but sometimes you don't get that joint perfectly if these are, you know, uh, different heights. Anyways, if there's instances where those don't join perfectly, like they're doing for me now, um, you can mess with the ends of the beam and get them to resolve. But ideally, that's what's going to happen, and you'll have perfect skirt boards matching your baseboard every time. So that's all I got. Um, hope you learned something, and uh, hope you'll start putting in coves and bases and tile everywhere they need to be because it's super easy and fast, and it will just make your models look so much better. I guess I'll leave that as the parting shot. If we go either, you know, this, let's do this one. You know, this 2D image, having that tile right, or having that baseboard right there is, you know, really nice. Same thing with putting wall switches on there. It's all easy to do. And then if we look at this in 3D, let's zoom around, you can see there's nothing, you know, nothing too special about this room, but adding the cove and the baseboard really helps the room feel nicer and more real. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you learned something and hope you'll start modeling baseboard and cove and tile in all your projects. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. As always, everything I'm doing in these videos is straight out of my Shunoma Open template, so go ahead and download that. Same thing, if I'm clicking on anything on the screen that's unfamiliar to you, that's all my work environment. You can also jump over to the website and get that as well. Links are in the description. Thanks so much, and have a great day.